Hi, I'm Boone. This is Boone Slot Car Garage. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make foam flock because I'm all out and I need some because I need to build some more trees. So what better time than to do a video on foam flock, right? So if we go down the layout, you can see these evergreen trees that I make. And I may produce my own foam flock to go ahead and, and use on the trees. Now you can go out and you can buy foam flock and it comes in a little bag like this, right? Well, this little bag is only gonna cover like two trees. And if you have a substantial amount of trees that you're gonna build, you know, it starts to add up after a while. So, you know, I can think of more things that I'd rather spend my money on than foam flock, like maybe a couple extra cars, right? So today, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make foam flock, all right? Let's do this. All right, so here we are. We're outside, so it's a little bit changed the scenery. But if we go down the table, I'll show you everything that we need for this project. So we're gonna need some scissors. Obviously, we're gonna need some foam. You're gonna need a blender, some PVA glue, some water, some green acrylic paint, and some burnt umber acrylic paint. You need some gloves, a little bit of aluminum foil, strainer, and a container. All right, so when we come back, I'll go ahead and we'll start slicing up some foam. Okay, so we have, we start out with our foam, and this is just some old foam that I think it came out of a chair or something like that. Now you can go out and purchase this at a craft store or you can salvage your own from, I don't know, maybe an old couch. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the scissors and we're just gonna cut off a chunk of this and get this all cut. And we'll get out a container right here. And what I do, so I just take this and I just start cutting it down. And what we're gonna wanna do is cut it into little chunks. So, got this, and we just wanna start cutting it down. And once you get it, you take that, just keep on cutting it down. Get it down about, eh, about so far, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the rest of this foam and we come back, we'll have it in the blender and then we'll start blending foam. So we have our foam and it's all sliced up. You can see how far down I dice it. And I went ahead and put just a little bit into the blender. Now, I recommend that you guys go out and get your own blender and not use the Mrs. Blender because if she knew I was doing this with her blender, I'd be in the doghouse something fierce. So I picked this up just at a, uh, a thrift store. I think I just spent a couple bucks on it. So next thing we're gonna do is we went ahead and I put the foam into the blender and I'm just gonna take some water and I'm just gonna pour some water into it. So it gives something to absorb into. And what the blender is going to do is going to chop it up even more and it's going to kind of dice it so it doesn't have these sharp edges on it anymore. It's going to make it a lot more rounded and everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this. It's going to give you loud, so we're probably going to stop the taping. And when I come back, I'll show you what we got. Okay, so we went ahead and I blended it all up and you can kind of see the consistency of what we're going after. So just so we have something to compare it to this is what we started out with and this is where we're at now so next step from this is to go ahead and take a strainer I have a little bit already in here and I'll take this just pour it into that and just go ahead and get some of the moisture out 
voila, that's what we got. So, next step is you get your, your bin that we have. Go ahead and put it in that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our glue and our paint mixture and uh, we'll pick it up from there. So, went ahead and blended it all up and we got our foam and it's in our little container and we got pretty good consistency that's gonna go good for foam flock. So, next thing we need to do is we have our green and our burnt umber and has some PVA glue. Now this has been watered down a little bit. So I just have a little concoction of watered down glue and I pretty much get it so it has a consistency. Well, you'll see the consistency. I'm not really sure what my mixing ratio is on this guys, but it's, it's pretty much like water, okay? So I'm gonna put that PVA in there pretty good amount and what the PVA is going to do is when we put the paint into it it's going to help lock the paint onto the foam when it dries so we'll start out with some green put that in there and a little bit of burn umber we can get the burn umber out In fact, I'm going to take the lid off. So, come on, burnt umber. There we go. Just a little bit there. And then we start mixing it all together. And it looks like we're going to need a little bit more. But get all the way through. You can see how it's, it's going and turning everything into our green color. Now the foam itself is still a little bit moist. You don't want it completely dry. That way it will uh, absorb the paint better. And uh, it'll be more evenly distributed around it. So you can see how it's starting to darken down. I think I want it to be a little bit darker than this. Let's just work it some more. And as you're working it, just kind of squeeze it. And that brings that, brings that color all through it. Okay, there's that. I want a little bit darker to go for more of a conifer type of color for our trees and work that. Let's see what we got. There we go. Now it's starting to darken down. So our hue is starting to get to that, that deeper green. Okay, so I think I might just do a little bit more burnt umber. I'm going to darken it down just a little bit more. Put that in my hand. Go with that. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I get this all mixed through. And the next step is we'll get it all out so it can dry. Okay, so we got it all mixed up and we made some makeshift trays out of aluminum foil. So this I just picked up at a dollar store, it's real cheap. So what we got, we have our tray here and now we have our foam. So let me show you something. If we squeeze this completely out, see how the color is a little bit lighter? So what I like to do is just squeeze it a little bit. So you can see kind of the water and stuff coming up to the surface. 
Don't squeeze it completely dry or all the water out, but leave it so it has a little bit of pigment still, still left in there, wet pigment. And then just put it on your tray and give it some time to air all out you don't want it all humped together you want to go ahead and have so it has space so it'll dry all out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this all placed out and I have a batch that is already complete and I'll show you what the final product looks like okay so we have it all on our aluminum foil and it's ready to dry out now the way this is it's probably gonna take oh I'd say a good good day in the Sun to go ahead and dry that all out and with the, the weather we're having it might even take less than a full day so that's all ready to go but here is well this is the reason why i need to make more i'm almost out but this is what it'll look like when it's all said and done and that is pretty much just like the stuff you're going to buy out of the store so remember when we had the the first part of this and I was talking about this little bag now these little bags run about five to eight bucks a piece and we've made quite a bit for like next to nothing guys and I still have out of that one chunk that I cut I still have half a container left so I have a whole other tray I can make three four trays a flock for next to nothing so hopefully you like this and uh till next time we'll start building some trees okay so that pretty much wraps it up and uh if you like it like it share it subscribe to my channel and where we're going to pick this up next time is we're going to start taking this flock and we're going to start making those trees, all right? So until then, Boone from Boone Slot Car Garage. See you guys later.